What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy, Kid, back at it again. Hope you're doing well. We have the last episode of Let Them Eat Cake Bittersweet. Uh, you know, six episodes, but hey, um, you know, all good things come to an end. So uh, I just want to say thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, all that good stuff. Remember, snacks is not included, damn it. Uh, bring your own. And yeah, just accompany me along on this episode here. And let's go see what adventures lie on this week. Let's get it. Snacks not included. Let's freaking go. a brand new dance and everyone in there will be doing it. What's it called? It's called the vomiter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't, but it's very easy to learn. Even a drunk halibut could learn it. <laughs> Give me a demonstration. Come on. Does that? Civil play. Right, good. Now, ready? And it's one step, two step, curtsy to your partner, one too bad, you see? And then stick your foot like this, <laughs> and your arms like that, and they can hop, 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 smack your partner's cheeks like this, and then face, blah, 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 blah. and then get hold of them, and whip them around really fast like that. <laughs> I think I'll sit that one out, actually. <laughs> You've got to be seen doing all the most fashionable things. You don't want to be thought of as oldie worldy. No, I'm uh, not. <laughs> you are wearing the latest in cervical accoutrement. <laughs> necklace. The, oh, the necklace. Yes. Oh, right, yes. When Madame La Plonge sees that yeah. necklace, she's going to be green with envy. Yes, green. No, puce, with actually. Puce. Completely puce. Yes, right. Work it into the dance. Oh, I? Show the oh, necklace. Right. Show, show the necklace. <laughs> Jesus. You go in there and you dance. Dance, dance like the flunky bitch you know you are. <laughs> and dance the vomiter. <laughs> I trust we are all vomiting. <laughs> all breeding and no bleeding brains. Oh, shit. Well, madame. What's well, monsieur? <laughs> Set. Oh, shit. Continue, continue. So there you are, prepared to be pissed. Hello, Madame. <laughs> My dear Columbine, I'm quite exhausted. So many eager young dancing partners. I feared my legs would very soon give way. <laughs> oh, my, my, my dear, you look glorious. And such an exquisite, dainty, understated little necklace. <laughs> I'm with your jeweler not to waste his off cuts. <laughs> Jesus. Your daughter, Maman. Yes, my dear Evelyn, so light on her feet, even with the Chevalier de Lacoste hand up her skirt. Evelyn! <laughs> with your permission. Evelyn! Madame de Plonge. Look how trustful of us. I'm going to have to get loads more hazelnuts under these and bolster them up from there. I'm going to shell them this time. I spent all yesterday being pecked at by blue tits. A jello. I'm richer than her, aren't I? Of course you are. Madame's richer than everyone. And anyone oh. who says she isn't is a dirty, filthy liar. You insulted me. I was no. made to feel, yes, this petite. No. Oh, yes, she did, you know. Oh, that must have been terrible. Oh, yes, no, it was awful. She didn't. She did. did she? No, she did. Did she? Yes, she did. She did. Yes, she did. I'm not telling you that she did. No, no, she did. Oh, that must have been terrible. Yes, no, it was terrible. Oh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> These two doofuses. I must never again be caught looking poorer than other people. No more small jewellery. Is she going? I haven't mentioned it yet. Well, I have oh. to know. Waiting to sit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, such a function requires many hours of wardrobial disagreement, weeks to be rejected, <laughs> footwear lobbed at the wall. 
Undergarments dispensed with. <laughs> Function. What function? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very busy preparing le petit déjeuner. That's breakfast to you. Do you think this trout just ripped out its own giblets and poached itself? <laughs> After a year swimming in raw sewage, yes. Well, it didn't because. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Am I telling me what's going on here? Uh, Madame has received a most gracious invitation to a very unusual royal thing. Thing. Uh, occasion. <laughs> Event. Uh, basically, to watch Marie Antoinette and His Majesty express their love for each other. Oh, you know, shit. Point Percy at the porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> Jouer au cachet oh, la saucisse. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Have it all. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Is this some kind of subversive? Revolutionary joke, Monsieur, because if it is, I am not in the mood. Well, someone obviously is. <laughs> we may have to go there and watch them. I've gone off that fish. Would you take the fish? <laughs> I believe it to be something of an exercise in open government. Well, after all, every French person does have the right to watch the royal couple eat or sleep. I did once go to one of their toilet displays. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't very good. Oh. <laughs> Not a long queue for that, I wouldn't have thought. <laughs> no, it's just me. Hey. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think I was supposed oh. to be there. <laughs> Still, it's His Majesty's way oh, of shit. getting closer to the people. Closer. Oh, no, I thought the whole point of being king was you didn't have going to any other bloody people. Ninety <laughs> percent of them smell bad enough to keep the English at bay. Shit. Probably not your family. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got nothing against the poor. You know that. <laughs> I mean, crab lice have to breed somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what a bitch. No one's laughing at that, mistress. Oh, shit. I mean, if they're just going to throw the gates of the palace open to anyone with a tapeworm and gangrene, where's the advantage in being an aristocrat? <laughs> there isn't one, is there? No, none at all. Professor Roll? <laughs> yes, I, I just want you to puncture one so I can suck out the cream. <laughs> <laughs> like it creamy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> the uh, problem, madame, mm -hmm. is Marie Antoinette's unpopularity. Oh, well. According to a recent anonymous, controversial, and indeed scurrilous biography... Oh, oh yeah, I've oh, read that. that. Yeah. She is, and I quote, an ugly Austrian oh. slut <laughs> who has cuckolded the king with every living Frenchman <laughs> and six Next dead one. ones, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Can't we do some royalties from that? How's it doing? Well, it's a number one blockbuster here in France, but it flopped in Vienna. Oh, mm. <laughs> Consequently, she wishes to be seen loving the king by as many subjects as possible. Yeah. Mm. Sort of royal command performance, but with laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> I hope without audience participation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he's all right, but I wouldn't touch her with the toasting fork, is it? It simply says, Reponde, s'il vous plaît. Yes, well, check that. That could be anything. <laughs> the time's curtain up. Seven of the clock. Oh. And if I know his majesty, that's carriages at two minutes past. Madame? For feature roll? <laughs> <laughs> a royal Creamy. invitation. Yes! Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> then I must wear my pink dress. Yes. For the red, though charming, I believe is a sign of a degenerate and loose prostitute. <laughs> the prostitute ever known to think me loose. Indeed, the Chevalier de la Coste found me quite the opposite. <laughs> uh, you, Evelyn, are not going. I could, of course, wear the blue, which says nothing at all about one's sexual history, and therefore maybe even one at funerals. Evelyn! <laughs> White, I'm afraid, would now be dishonest. <laughs> Evelyn, my dear, you will not be accompanying me. <laughs> but, Maman? No! Surely this would be an ideal opportunity to formally present me to the king. No, but the, the king is going to be busy. 
Marie Antoinette, then? No, she'll most certainly have her eyes shut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going, Evelyn. And that is the end of the matter. If you wish to see their majesties, the public have been invited to watch the meet. I cannot be formally presented if they both have their mouths full. Precisely. <laughs> I hate you, Maman. I hate you and everything you lie down for. Don't do your roof, Evelyn. And don't come out until you have learned to control your tongue. Ah! Powder! Powder me! Powder! Powder! <laughs> she lie down a lot. God damn you, freak! <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> I mean, what does one wear to a copulation? <laughs> well, apparently, no one's allowed to wear anything that might upstage the royal couple. Well, there's not much chance Shit. of that, I'd have thought. No, she's got a pair of hams on her. You couldn't smoke with a forest fire. No, the only person I intend to upstage is Madame de Plange. I trust she's been invited. Only to the matinee. Oh, 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 to matinee. Afternoon show. Oh, Apparently, Jesus. they're expecting such a big turnout, they've put on an early show for the students and Moutelet de Guerre, followed by nibbles and wine, and a late show for the critics. Oh, well, I think I should go to the matinee. No, 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 no. Madame is far too important. Yeah. Well, not to stay, but just to be seen sort of passing through, wishing their majesties luck, you know. Wearing something rather splendid and fanning myself with my evening invitation for Madame La Plange. Is Madame's chagrin not leading her even further down the Avenue de Folie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this rivalry with Madame de Plange. Mm. Rivalry? There's no rivalry, Monsieur. She's not my equal. But if I should be seen there wearing the biggest jewelry money can buy, you know, that is not the Avenue de Folie, Monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> she scares Something me. Something hilarious coming up now. <laughs> that, that is the rude awakening. There it is. <laughs> no, but you see, I can't wear these. These are awful. No, I can't wear these. I need something else. No, you don't want to wear one of his frocks, no. do you? You won't wear something special. Big, monsieur. Yeah, I'll get my nan to run something up for you. Yes, and I might run something up your nan. <laughs> it says here, matinee. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> Everyone who is anyone has been invited to the evening performance. Well, I suppose there could conceivably have been a mistake. Mm. You are. Mm -hmm. Madame de Plonge. Yeah. No, 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 no. Your title. Madame du... <laughs> Baroness to somewhere? Marquise to somewhere else? Mother Superior? <laughs> <laughs> the King has promised me a, a marvellously important grand title. He's just waiting for someone to die. No, I'm afraid the evening performance is for high aristocracy only. I demand you change my invitation! And why, madam, would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, she got a round. Woohoo! Shit, girl. <laughs> she's wow. gonna die. Wow. I'm telling you, she's just gonna die. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> the Here fuck? Careful, careful, bend slightly. Is she yes, you grew. Oh, 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 wig, wig. I got wig. the stick, I got the stick. Oh. There. <laughs> Sorry, Madame. Oh, Sorry, Madame. Monsieur. Next door, please, quickly. We've got half an hour before we'll be there. Orange Grove, up the horse trots parade, and the doors are quite wide from there on in. Hey, hey. Make way, I say, for Columbine Contest of Ash. Where we now? Where is the plant? The plant. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Monsieur, this is the matinee, isn't it? Pardon? Oh, <laughs> 
It's just damaged people here. Have a way with Fab. I think Madame de Plonge has got word of your stunning presence and she's run oh. off like some frightened snake in the grass back to her den. <laughs> Entirely like. <laughs> Come on, I don't have to go back then if she's not here. All right, reverse. 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 No, you'll have to turn me. You'll have to turn All me. All right, we'll do a three pointer. Right. Ready? Go in round. Out of the way! Peasants! Soldiers! Out of the way! Hello! Oh, 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 Your Majesty. I, I just passing by to say good luck. Break a leg. You don't want to watch it? Um. Watch it! Watch it! Ah, of course. <laughs> I suppose we have to stay now, do we? Oh, I think we're here for the duration now. Oh, I'll save someone to come again later. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to sit down, madame? Yes. Right, take the weight. Take yeah, the weight. I've got it. Move it. Uh, monsieur. Monsieur. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a badass. <sighs> oh. Yes, sir, I trust that was your crutch. <laughs> Love her. Not starting off with a solo, I hope, is she? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> a solo. Of course, in Austria, this would never happen. Hmm? We might not do it so frequently, but when one is up for it, one would never be kept waiting, waiting. Oh, waiting. oh bless. <laughs> Perhaps His Majesty has been detained. Thought. Yes. The king, as you know, is a most enthusiastic weaver. What? No, I didn't catch it. <laughs> what? Weaving, weaving. <laughs> weave, weave. Vive la reine. Vive. <laughs> Majesty is also an expert locksmith. Fuss? A person what makes locks. Yeah, but even with him, a good Wappenschlobben would normally come from. Oh. Hey, yo. He likes pickles, huh? Do you know their majesties, Monsieur Buffon? Not personally. Hmm, very strange. The Marquise de Montpellier assured me you were intimately acquainted with every queen in Europe. <laughs> I expect that was just some reference to you being a flamboyant homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. God now, I have dear. no one to formally present me to the king. Maman is, of course, unable, being only a Madame de. Though I could pay. Mademoiselle has money. I do. <laughs> my father, who's sadly not known to me, and indeed only a vague blur to my mother, <laughs> sent me a large fortune, in exchange for which I must conceal my existence from his wife and promise to go abroad. When will you be leaving? <laughs> Silly. I've just been. Two weeks in Spain. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> then I think I may be able to help you. Here we go. Oh, One last so mouthful ready. Oh, here, yum, it yum. Comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, I missed! <laughs> here, it comes, baby. here it comes again. Down the hatch mm. to the basement. How's <laughs> <laughs> he not turning up? Yes, what would you? I mean, the Queen's no picture, is she? <laughs> no, I mean, Madame de Plonge. Oh, yeah. Naturally, Madame de Plonge was not there. She's going to the evening performance. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Her invitation has been changed. <laughs> oh, my name is Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Oh, Gladys! Oh, What time is it? What time is it? Six of the clock. Oh, since we the way of the way! Oh, can this be done? Yes, it can be done! Oh. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> What a close-up. No, it cannot be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what shit. time is it now? Uh, huh? Half past six. <laughs> I demand to be standing by seven at the o'clock. What, today? Madame, I beg you not to go out in public looking like that. 
Yes, Madame de Plonge. She must be paid back tenfold, Monsieur. Don't you realize that? Where's he been for the last 24 hours? Yeah, where? Where have you been? Where have you been? A number of places. Oh, he's been everywhere. He's been all oh, over. Right. <laughs> I was gravely insulted, monsieur. Gravely Hello, insulted? Yeah, I am Hello, cognizant monsieur. of that. Oh, oh who are what? you? Oh, he's cognizant oh, of that. Oh, we'd all like to be cognizant, oh, wouldn't right. we? I'd love oh, to right. be cognorized. Yes, all right. Which is why I a lovely <laughs> expert cognorizationist. Will you shut his... the frock up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the it's back it. there. Oh, it's I undone. See. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> onward, 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 onward. Mistress, oh, please. Shit. Surely the thing to do is to publicly embarrass Madame de Plonge in the same way that she embarrassed my lady. <laughs> but if you go out looking like that, you'll simply embarrass yourself and me and the entire reputation of Maison Bouffon. Well, do you have a better idea, monsieur? Mm -hmm. Well, come on, speak plain to the purpose, do you? Yes. Well, I'm listening. Well, I don't know anything. Come on! <laughs> if Madame will promise to remove that tent and burn it, <laughs> I will ensure that Madame makes a vulgarly large amount of money, embarrasses Madame de Plonge, and has her expelled from the Palace of Versailles for the rest of her days. <sighs> Would Madame like that? Uh, yes, burn the dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. They say we have to leave the queue, dear. We don't have titles. Yes, we do, dear. I'm little Madame Smackybots, and you're vicious vixen voluptuous. Yes, I thought it best not to tell them that, dear. What should we do, dear? Naughty piddly panty boy is having a surprise cheese and flagellation party. You know I don't like cheese, dear. Watch yourself, dear. <clears throat> Can I come? Yes, of course. Oh, anyone else? Oh, oh, oh what a reason there is. Title? Marquis de Beaujolais. Oh. Fruity little number, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Beaujolais, Vintner's Droop. Hello. 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 Title, title. Chevalier de Normandy. Oh. What about him? Uh, yeah, quite good on the beach, flags alarmingly inland. Well, I'm not quite to taste my food, you know, Lizette. <laughs> I'd do it for you, madame. I think I want to sleep with hundreds of gorgeous hunks above my station. <laughs> ah, Baroness. Hello. <laughs> <Sure. laughs> Title? Comtesse de Bivouac. Ah, 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 ah. I think you are not Comtesse de Wawawa. Wa. Oh. <laughs> plain old Madame de Plonge, and therefore not entitled to enter the Royal Chambre à Coucher. Goodbye. <laughs> then you are ill informed, you tiresome little slut. <laughs> I am not little. <laughs> Your Majesty has just confirmed on me the title of Comtesse de Bivouac, and I shall enter wherever I damn well get the urge to enter. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> How exciting. I to be formally presented to the king. Is it the dumb thing to kiss him on both cheeks? Yes, but never on the face. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble. Madame, I am most dreadfully sorry. There was just a tiniest little putty problem here. Contest! Contest of bivouac! She has just made my mistress look an absolute booby and a buffoon. She's the palace baboon. I'm ashamed to know her. I mean, bivouac? Where is bivouac? I've never heard of it. I don't believe it exists. Well, it must exist, monsieur, because she is not the contest of it. She simply bought the title from his majesty. She bought it? <laughs> yes, and if we make haste, I think we'll find she's paying for it even as we speak. <laughs> Come on, Captain! Captain! I felt that. Oh, 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 your majesty. <laughs> Oh, I caught you! <laughs> Would this be an appropriate moment?
moment, Your Majesty, to formally introduce Eveline de Planche, I order. <laughs> the daughter of this woman, Monsieur! What is not a contest no longer? Hunt is banished forever from the palace of... What is the name of the place? That's I, that's I. Palace of... <laughs> to wonder like a vagabond outside! Yes! Touché, I think, don't you? <laughs> Superiors, apparently. By your I shall return, Columbine, for the time is nigh when all of France shall rise up. And I feel sure, my dear, that by the time it is half up, you will be sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe, Your Majesty, we've been formally introduced. I feel sure this would never happen in Austria. I pine for Austria, mm. madame. I wish I was back in Salzburg. Yes, I think we all wish you were. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? The price of bread has gone up, your marriage. <laughs> eat cake! <laughs> I said, let them eat cake! <laughs> you see, I don't think you should have said that. <laughs> Oh, God, this was the craziest episode. We got to talk about it. One second. Holy shit, man. I can't stand that lady. No, hold on a second. Holy shit, man. This was such a crazy episode. And so far from the series that we've been watching that has Jennifer Saunders in, it hasn't been a series so far, but she don't bust her ass and fall in some sort of capacity there. One thing we also really enjoy with, uh, you know, Columbine is her facial expressions, even from the jump, where she's thinking she's going to have the baddest jewelry, you know, the, the biggest bling bling, essentially. And you got, you know, you got um, Lizette bigging her up and all that stuff. And then she walks in and eventually she, she spots her freaking rival, right? She spots her freaking rival and she got the, she got the better jewelry. And she's just staring, the way she's like staring, she's like, you know, she got her eyes like that, she's like. <laughs> so, we love it. Um, this was some of the craziest shit that we have seen. You know, I, I, I feel like it, it, there's moments where you're gonna do a vomit dance of your own there, that little dance scene with Dawn French, and she starts stopping the shit. Oh, God, I cannot praise Dawn French enough times, you know. Seeing her character as Lizette, you know, over the course of these episodes has been a great sight, man. And, um, you know, just her little simple actions interacting and, and the way um, Columbine is, you know, she's as she's, you know, she's waiting to be see seen uh, and then uh, and then she has to be fed like a baby. Absolutely hilarious there. The the wigs or, you know, the long hair, how extravagant it is. Uh and weighing her down, you know, like, it's insane. She got the freaking pole to raise it up. Uh, Buffon has been a fantastic character on this show, and I've loved this rivalry that has been here uh, from the jump between Madame LeBlanc and uh, the Vash, right? So we can now say officially there is only room for one badass in this town, and it ain't you, Madame LaPlante. You got to get the hell out of here. You got you don't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of here somewhere. Get your ass out of here. So, um, loved her performance. Absolutely funny. Um, seeing this, what is it, the cop copulation, because they said it in the, in, in the thing, um, this world copulation or copulating thing that's going on here. Holy shit, uh, you know, uh, I believe it was Jennifer um, or Colin Bean that said, yeah, I hope she's not going to start solos as a solo show, uh, have me dying there. But it's definitely interesting seeing this thing 
I guess you know happen on the uh, on, on the series here. This shit was some graphic crazy shit, uh, and I I don't know for some reason this show made me extra like giddily like I just like couldn't stop giggling a lot. So uh, just a lot of the silly <laughs> antics that they were doing, I can't stop laughing because a lot of sh silly shit was going on here. But man, we've enjoyed it. Um, Buffon, fantastic job. That guy gets jabbed more than anything. Even Eveline was jabbing on him. She had a nice, interesting line when they were sitting at the bench before, you know, uh, she was thinking of paying the man, uh, essentially, coming up with this idea. So you, you knew some idea was kind of spawning out of there. But, man, we knew... Madame LaPlanche was uh, Madame LaPlanche was a freak, but damn, who freaking knew there? And uh, you know, seeing that scene, uh, you know, uh, everybody's coming in. Everybody's got that face. Everybody's seeing there. I wish I could just screenshot that 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 scene where everyone's standing as she's going up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh man, I I could probably turn that shit into some sort of a meme. But man, we've enjoyed it. Um, Lizette's actions interacting with a lot of the guys on the show. Even when she's backed up on the guy, you see the guy's face. He's excited. He's happy. And then she says what she says. Uh, she, just, she was my absolute favorite character uh, by a mile on the show. And then tied for second for me is, is between... Um, Columbine and Buffon because man they had some great great scenes here so uh yeah I thoroughly enjoyed the show but you can also see um throughout the course you know um the obliviousness of Columbine a lot of times even when the 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 brick came in and then don't you know uh, Lizette excuse me is is talking about you know breads went up and she's like let them eat cake and stuff so she's completely oblivious to the poor and stuff uh the poverty scenarios, and yeah, I'm all for it, man. This has been an incredible ride. There's a lot of memorable, crazy scenes, a lot of BDSM moments. Uh, you know, I still remember that episode where the guy comes in in the night, you know, through the window. I, I still haven't got those crazy scenes out of my head. And, you know, at, at the end, obviously, Lizette is tied up, but you had all, you know, Column being tied up. So, man, this this show has some crazy moments that you, you're just not going to forget. Um, you know, when she had the mask on and she's being fed all that, those chunks and shit. Oh, some gross ass scenes, man. Those are crazy ass scenes. But, yeah, man, listen, we enjoyed the show. It gave us a laugh. Um, the uh, Maria Antoinette chick, that, that chick, I'm not going to lie to you guys. In, in a lot of the scenarios, she gets me. It's completely... I'm completely lost half the time and what the hell she's saying, you know, what? You know, like the way she talked, like I'm almost tuned out uh, a little bit with her. She was probably the toughest character for me to even understand. If I can even say I understood completely. Uh-uh, no way, no way, Jose, uh, on that. Because she, she was a tough cookie to unravel. But, man, this rivalry was something really cool, uh, you know, looking forward to, you know, from the jump. And, uh, you know, seeing Buffon... Uh, you know, by Adrian just slaying it, man. Like, he's had some moments in other series, you know, where he's just absolutely hilarious to see. And on this show, no different. I can't praise Dawn French enough. You know, I, I think that Dawn and, and Jennifer, you know, obviously, they're good friends. They, you know, have done a lot of shit together and, and writing stuff together. But their chemistry is beautiful to see. And, um, you know, shit, man, I, you're just not going to get a lot of these scenes out of out of my head so a lot of crazy things going on a lot of interesting characters here um, overall very much enjoyed the show and, and um i'll make sure if i ever watch this series again i don't be eating uh nothing on this thing and and snacks was not included on any of these episodes in the future if i ever watch this show i get a chance to watch your show again but yeah we loved it we're gonna um Thank you all for hanging out and just kicking it with me. You know, the list goes on. There's some incredibly crazy moments, some crazy dialogue, crazy scenes. And, um, you know, just seeing even the couple episodes back, too, when you had, uh, you know, um, Colomine would, you know, when she initially takes off the, the the wig for that very kind of first time and you see that shit man a lot of a lot of memorable moments and, and that's a, the sign of a crazy cool show so um it's always it been a, an incredible journey and i just can't thank you guys enough for just accompanying me on it um i don't want to talk your ears off guys but yeah just know if you if you listen to at least this part here did i enjoy the show did it make me laugh in, in any capacity hell to the freaking yes and 
Um, great cast, great acting. Very dialogue will do that. So, um, you know, another series bites the dust. Thank you guys for accompanying me. Um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next journey. Thanks for accompanying me again. See you soon. Peace and love.